Hi, I'm Miss Kristen of the Oosterhout Free Library. We might have had some chilly days here this winter and a little bit of snow, but that is nothing compared to the coldest place on earth. A snowy, icy place that is actually a desert, but gets very little snow each year. No one lives there full time. There's no trees or bushes that grow there. The sun rises and sets only once a year. And that place is called Antarctica. The Antarctic is the Earth's southernmost continent. A continent is a landmass, like the United States is in the continent of North America. Antarctica is the icy region around the South Pole. It is also the coldest continent. The average temperature is minus 49 degrees. That's much colder than zero degrees Fahrenheit. And yet, there are over 200 different species of animals that can live there. But not every animal can live there. Today, I'm going to share a very silly story called Except Antarctica. Now, when Turtle here finds out that turtles can be found in every continent except Antarctica, well, he takes that as a challenge, and we'll have to see what he discovers. We'll also conduct some fun activities that will show you how some animals have adapted or changed to be able to withstand such cold temperatures in Antarctica. So let's start our funny story, except Antarctica. Except Antarctica, written and illustrated by Todd Sturgill, published by Source Books Explore. This is a turtle. Um, hello there. Turtles are found on every continent except Antarctica. Hmm, we'll see about that. They are cold-blooded and cannot survive in a cold, harsh... Hey, where are you going? Antarctica. You can't go to Antarctica. Get back to your page this instant. Bye. <sighs> Let's forget the turtle and move on. Oh look, here's an owl. Owls are found on every continent except Antarctica. Hello there, Owl. This is a book of animal facts. <sighs> Here's a fact. Owls don't like to be disturbed by animal facts. Owls rarely pay any attention to turtles. Want to come with me to Antarctica? Why, yes, since I'm already awake, I'll join you. <sighs> Those two will never make it. On to the next animal fact. Dung beetles are found on every continent except Antarctica. Hey, wait, where's the dung beetle? He's with us. Why would a dung beetle travel to Antarctica with a turtle and an owl? Two words. Penguin, poop. <sighs> this book is not going as planned. Here we have a snake, a mouse, and a bee. Guess what? They're found on every continent except Antarctica. And it will stay that way. S snakes are known to break the rules. We mice are natural explorers. Bzz, you can't stop me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. 
Frogs are found on every continent except Antarctica. This one won't be distracted by a wandering group of rogue animals. Ignore them, frog. Ribbit. Oh, look, new friends. <sighs> a turtle, owl, dung beetle, snake, mouse, bee, and frog would never travel together on an expedition to the frozen continent. And they certainly wouldn't cross an ocean to get there. No boat, no Antarctica. Now, can we please get back to normal? I've got this. This is ridiculous. Woohoo! We made it! <sighs> Pay no attention to these scoundrels. Turtles, owls, dung beetles, snakes, mice, bees, and frogs are still found on every continent except Antarctica. Look at those strange penguins. The coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth was in Antarctica, negative 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit. It is a bit c c colder than I expected, there's nothing but ice, snow, and rock. Animals not accustomed to the howling wind and bitter cold air will find Antarctica unbearable. The birds swim here and I can't swim. My dung is frozen. Let's go home. Ha! Like I said, the Antarctic climate is too extreme for these animals. Whew, I'm glad that's over. As long as we're here, let's talk about emperor penguins. Emperor penguins are found only in Antarctica. Oh, really? Hmm. Wait for me! Oh no, not again. The end. That was a very silly story. A turtle, owl, and dung beetle in Antarctica? That could never have happened. Well, what other silly animals could have joined Turtle on his trip? Use your imagination and draw a picture of an animal that could not be found in Antarctica. What silly combinations can you think of? You can check this book out from the library for yourself to learn more cool info about the animals in the story, such as the oldest turtle was 255 years old, or that owls can turn their heads almost all the way around and dung beetles navigate using the Milky Way, which is pretty cool. So while you would not find those animals in Antarctica, what animals would you find? Antarctica is home to over 235 species of animals, including penguins, whales, seals, and more. These animals have learned to adapt or change in different ways so that they can live in the very cold temperatures. Let's do some activities that will show you how these animals have adapted. First, we'll start with the penguins. Penguins spend a lot of their time in the cold, icy water, but their feathers don't get wet, which keeps them warmer. Let's find out how that happens. What you're going to need is a paper, some wax crayons, and some water. So first you're going to wanna to draw a picture of a penguin on a piece of paper. I'll include an easy way to draw your own penguin in the description box below. 
Then you're going to color in entirely with crayon, the wax crayon, even the white parts. If you don't have a white crayon, then maybe you can create a purple penguin like I did here. Just make sure you color the entire penguin in. So what you're going to do is you're going to spray or splash some water on your drawing. And then also spray some water on the blank part of the paper too and find out what happens. Does the paper with your drawing of the penguin get wet and absorb the water? Or does the water beat up into little droplets? What happens to the blank paper? Is it wet? Try it out for yourself. What's happening here is that penguins have a lot of feathers that are densely packed together and cover their entire body. These feathers have an oil producing gland that makes their feathers waxy, just like your wax crayon. And the wax on the feathers repel the cold water and that helps keep them dry. Pretty neat, right? Here's another way that animals have adapted to help them live in very cold temperatures. Animals like whales, seals, and even some penguins have a special fat layer called blubber to help insulate them. But what does insulate mean? Well, let's try this activity to find out. You're going to need ice, a large bowl of water, shortening like Crisco or petroleum jelly like Vaseline, two plastic sandwich bags, or even two plastic gloves, uh, and you're going to need a rubber band or tape to help secure the bags. And optional, you can use addi two additional plastic bags or even a timer. Now what you're going to do is you're going to place ice into the bowl of water and then place a layer of shortening or Vaseline into a baggie. Then place another bag into that bag. Secure the bags together with tape or if the bag is big enough, Secure the bag with a rubber band around your wrist. This will keep your hands clean and dry. Place your covered hand in the water and place your other hand in the icy water. What do you feel? Is there a difference in the temperature? Why do you think that is? You can explore some more. Time how long you can leave your blubber hand in the water before it becomes too cold and you have to take it out. You can choose to put your other hand in two empty plastic bags without the Vaseline or shortening as a control to compare. Then time each hand separately to test which hand you can keep in the icy water the longest. Now what's happening here? The Vaseline or shortening is much like the blubber in the animals and it acts as an insulator which helps the animals keep warm in a very cold temperature. Now, people like you and I might have to wear sweaters and coats to keep warm, but these animals just use their blubber. Pretty cool, right? Well, I hope you had fun. I hope you keep exploring and we'll see you next time. Bye.